Hi hey everyone, I'm Amelia Ritchie and today we're at the AMI Auto Car Car of the Year Awards testing day. So these six cars behind me are our six class winners and we're going to be pitting them against each other today to find out who the supreme winner is. So our category winner for the under 30k class is the Seat Ibiza. While you might not recognise Seat as a household brand, it is owned by Gub and is touted as their dynamic brand and it's already been snapping up awards across Europe. Under the hood we have a little one litre turbo which puts out 85 kilowatts, but that's more than enough to get this one around. This does come with a number of optional add-ins if you're willing to pay for them, but it also has a 5-star in-cap safety rating, plenty of legroom despite its size. So this is the 2019 Kia Nero. Now what's special about this one is that it's Kia's first dedicated hybrid. It's got a 1.6-litre engine that puts out 77 kilowatts, as well as a 32 kilowatt electric engine which is powered by a lithium-ion polymer battery pack. So of course inside it's got an energy meter in place of the taco. And while it's a hybrid, it's definitely optimised for urban use, but it's actually rated to tow about 1300 kgs, which is 1300 kgs more than a Prius. Say hello to the Subaru Forester Premium. Now this is a class winner for the 45 to 60k range. While not the most popular Subaru car in New Zealand, it definitely is around the world. And it actually won New Zealand's car of the year in 2018. A typical Subaru has a 2.5 litre boxer engine, which puts out 136 kilowatts. Now what's kind of special about this engine is this year Subaru's gone all in and 90% of parts are completely new. And in an effort to persuade the New Zealand people that Subaru Forester is a medium SUV, they've made it a bit longer, a bit wider and there is 35 mils of extra legroom. So new to this range is also a driver monitoring system which uses facial recognition to monitor the driver's alertness and remind them to get their eyes on the road. So this is the Mazda CX-8, this is our class winner for the 60 to 100k range. Under the bonnet here we have a 2.2 litre twin turbo diesel engine which puts out 140 kilowatts. In terms of sizing it sits between the CX-5 and the CX-9 which of course it's not quite as wide or as long as the CX-9 but it does sit on the same wheelbase. It's nice and comfortable and it's definitely got a nimbleness that belies its size. It does have seven seats but according to Mazda they do see it as a car that would be used with just five seats with seven used occasionally. So this is the Porsche Cayenne S, and if you think about all of the other luxury brands that have been putting SUVs into the market lately, it's done a really good job of beating them out and being this year's winner of the luxury class. So this year the Cayenne comes in three models, plus a hybrid on the way. While it's certainly much bigger than your usual Porsche, it's got a respectable 0 to 100 time of 4.9 seconds. This year's model has seen a very slight facelift and the replacement of haptic glass instead of all your usual knobs and bottoms. So this is a 2019 Suzuki Swift Sport, it's a 1.4 litre turbo. Turbo of course is new to this model and to the Swift. From previous versions the power has gone from 100 kilowatts to 103, but because of the turbo, uh, torque's gone up 44% down low. This one is a manual, so if you want a fun little go-kart to race around in, it is a perfect one for you. 